What happened with Steel? I had too much of a strong personality for him and was a little possessive and didn't work out. I was worrying that I was going to be going home. I was extremely loyal to Steel. I didn't talk to any other guy. So I kind of screwed myself in the sense that I didn't really know what to do next. Me and Jess couldn't be any more done. I'm on the mingle again. I'm like, who else is out there? So I'm going to go talk to Vanessa. I think we'll be a good team. I think I've had like a good conversation with everyone. Yeah, everyone's just really chill and laid so. back. I really like that. Peter is not my first choice. There's a possibility it could all work out. Yeah, but if it means that he's going to be able to choose me and give me the opportunity to stay, then I'll stick it out with him. So I'm open to like doing an adventure or whatever. Yeah. I made an agreement with Vanessa. She wanted me to pick her. So I was like, yeah, no, no problem. I enjoy your sense of humor. There's some guys here like, I can't do an adventure with them. <laughs> this is a relief because I'm not going home. I have an opportunity to meet someone else and hopefully find love. And this is my opportunity to do that. I slept by the pool last night. And honestly, it's the best I've slept since I've been here. Just the birds were really loud. It just really brought me back to why I'm here. I mean, I am here for love. Meanwhile, I am just enjoying the surroundings. And if I can't share that with somebody else, then at least I'm going to enjoy it. Oh. Morning. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What's going on? My eyes are so <laughs> They're not ready to be open yet. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Things are really good with Mike and I. The romance is getting better and better every day and our connection emotionally is getting better and better every day. Waking up with him in my cabin is exactly where I want to be. Morning. How's breakfast? Do you have it already? Yeah, it's good. You're like the last person to eat. We saved you like some egg scraps. Last night, I made an agreement with Vanessa, but I really like Erica. You know, just face it, she's hot as she can be. I was feeling really patriotic when I saw the cereal this morning. <laughs> But I, I kept it. Well been red I, I kept the cultural thing right, with some papaya? really fresh papaya. With Peter, there might be potential there. We would have a blast together and tons of laughs. Any tricks to how to pick up a papaya? Yeah, let me help you with that. <laughs> you scoop, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we seem to just have like a good chemistry. So at this point, it's either between Vanessa, who I have an agreement with, or Erica. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Let me help you with that. I'm natural. <laughs> I've, been here, I've done this before. Here. had to get ready in the morning to head out to our reward, which was an amazing helicopter ride. Hey, let's go. I was super nervous because I've never been in one before. It was beautiful, absolutely breathtaking. All of a sudden, we noticed there's a table for two, a nice, like, lovely picnic on, a, on this mountain. Careful, careful. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This is the epitome of all dates here. I'm not used to eating this little. I usually eat, like, six to eight times a day. I have to know exactly what I'm eating, like, so I can know the calories. All he really talks about is his body, so that was a little hard for me. I had to get through the rest of the day without kind of ripping my hair out. So, I definitely think we should talk about, like, the elimination tonight, and as far as, like, me and you. Mm hmm I like what's going on with us. If it was just, like, the adventure portion of the show, we'd be great together, but I've had a conversation with someone like a couple nights ago and I feel as though I really need to give that person like a little bit of time. Who do you have in mind? Steel. Like if things don't work out with Steel and I, like I really haven't connected with anyone else. Yeah, so. So then I'm SOL. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that because I'd probably be willing to uh, team up with you again. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, it has to be for the right reason, so it's about the connection first and then the adventure. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'd, like, I'd have to think about that. I firmly believe that you don't know what you got until it's gone. <laughs> okay. Whatever. We'll take it one adventure at a time. Uh, we'll see what's up. Um...
you feel like a connection with anybody here? Yeah. The one person I sincerely want to get to know is Erica. You gotta lay it on, dude. You gotta tell her that. I basically have no idea what's gonna happen going into the couple's choice. I made an agreement with Vanessa, but really I had my eye on Erica. You gotta take a chance, bro. Put your heart out there and just say, F it. The couple's choice ceremony is tonight. You know, everybody's a little concerned. Kiss it for luck. My first choice would be to stay with Heather. Things have progressed, and I think we have good chemistry. I kind of like this girl a little bit, you know, and I didn't expect this to happen at all. Yeah, that looks good. I just want to see the other one. What should I wear tonight? Oh, I really shirt? like the blue one. You are so right. I like that. I'm kind of irritated at the fact that Kim was going to go for steel. I mean, I can't believe she wants to even try another guy. I've got the free pass. I can select anyone I want, and I don't have to worry about it being eliminated. So this is really going to be a big decision. I'm kind of stuck. I have an agreement with Vanessa to go into the next adventure, but I really like Erica, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Welcome, guys. Come on in. Take a seat. Adam and Kim will grab you down the front. Welcome to your second couple's choice ceremony. I'm going to bring you up one couple at a time in the order that you finish the adventure. And at that point, you'll both have the option to either stay with your partner or switch for somebody else. Kim and Adam, because you came first, you'll actually have a guaranteed switch, which means if you invite anybody to be your partner, they can't refuse you. For the rest of you guys, as you know, that's not the case. You can be refused. And if you are, you'll have to step aside and hopefully wait for somebody else to pick you. We'll go through the whole process of pairing up until we have one man and one woman left. And unfortunately, they're the couple going home tonight. So, Adam and Kim, come on down. Congratulations on coming first. You enjoyed the Oasis for the first time. How was that? It was beautiful. It was awesome. you, you can't really describe it. You have to experience it yourself. <laughs> yeah. At our last couple's choice, we gave the guy the option to choose first. This time, we're going to give the girl the option to choose first. Remember, because you won the adventure, you cannot be refused. So, Kim, it's on you. Plenty of nice guys out there. Would you like to switch and share a cabin with one of them tonight? Or would you like to stay with Adam and see where that takes you? I am going to switch. Wow. Adam, how do you feel about that? We're going to get a chance to know some other people. And if we just so happen not to get that feeling with anybody else, we're going to see if... Uh, we can spark it back up. I take it if you've decided to switch, you maybe have an idea of... Nine Central. Footprints were found in the flower bed that match yours perfectly. Three I...